I'll never forget the night I took Hector to the Liars and Thieves concert. Now he's into elevator music, and he's still paying for the damages. <laughs> I don't like the looks of this place. Don't worry about it. Come on in. In there? Yeah, in here. Oh, my. Shut up. Are we safe in here? Are you safe anywhere? For Christ's sake, don't be such a wimp. Okay, I'll try. Who are they? Shut up. Well, the guy over there, he's looking at me funny. Show. And welcome 
in deepest, darkest somewhere, with our boots and hats and mosquito spray, seeking the barking elephants. The natives say they know the way. Meanwhile, back at headquarters, their sponsor, Professor Zeus, is at work in his laboratory. He strokes his pet boa, Mingala. The guy is all heart. Stella's our zoologist. She's a person first, but her breasts make my mouth water, and her hips make my pants burst. The kid parachutes in with the awful news. Professor Zeus wants barking elephant chromosomes for a fiendish gene bomb. It would make enemy babies born as pathetic mutants, and of course, would eventually be turned against us. We never found the barking elephants, but the natives still insist. If you listen close, you can hear them from the black forbidden cliffs. I gave up on fame and fortune, and now I'm at a stove. Stella brings home the soybeans, and we make sweet, sweet love. And Professor Zeus lost his Department of Defense funding, but his experiments accidentally led to the Alka-Seltzer bomb, which neutralizes visionable materials. He won a Nobel Peace Prize and is revered throughout the world. Ain't that the way things happen? Professor Zeus and the Barking Elephants. Let's say something political to change people's minds, alter the course of history, and improve the universe. <laughs> Or to place or to see. I fell on my face.
Broken the face, here's the beat.